Articles and Nouns I want to eat an apple for breakfast. I don't have apples. You can have a banana instead. Can you make a glass of banana shake for me? Pour it in the glass gifted by my friends. Would you like to have an omelette also? No, I'm getting late for college. I have a presentation today. That is why you were studying the whole night yesterday. Best of luck. In the dialogues, the boy and the mother have used words that give information about the nouns that follow and make it clear whether something general or specific is being mentioned. The words a, and, and the are examples of articles. Here are some examples of the use of articles. I want to eat an apple for breakfast. You can have a banana instead. Can you make a glass of banana shake for me? Pour it in the glass gifted by my friends. Would you like to have an omelette also? I have a presentation today. That is why you were studying the whole night yesterday. Definition An article precedes a noun in a sentence and tells us something about the noun, that is, whether the noun is something particular or not. Article A is used for something that is singular and not specific. It is used with consonants. Article AN is also used with something that is singular and not specific but can be used only with vowels. Article the is used with something that is definite and specific. It can be used with both singular and plural. It can be used with both vowels and consonants. Let us look at a few sentences. Sumanth is going to the temple. Gotham is carrying an umbrella because it is raining. Nina has just bought a book for herself. In the first sentence, the is an article and it refers to a particular temple. In the next sentence, an is an article and refers to any single umbrella. In the third sentence, a is an article and refers to a single book which is not specific. Few more examples of the use of a, and, and the are Countable and uncountable nouns Where are you going? I am going to the market. Will you go to the fruit market? Yes, I will. I have to buy bananas. Do you want some fruits? Yes. Can you bring me some oranges? Of course, I can. Do you want anything else from the market? I will buy sugar, milk and oil too. Please bring me a packet of milk. Ok. In the dialogues, Amar and Ruchir have used several countable and uncountable nouns. Here are examples of sentences showing usage of countable and uncountable nouns. Singular countable noun. I'm going to the market. Will you go to the fruit market? Please bring me a packet of milk. Plural countable noun. I have to buy bananas. Do you want some fruits? Can you bring me some oranges? Uncountable nouns. I will buy sugar. Milk and oil too. Definition Countable nouns refer to things that can be counted. These can be singular as well as plural. Uncountable nouns refer to quantity, material, liquid, which cannot be counted separately. Anything that cannot be counted is an uncountable noun. Uncountable nouns are always regarded as singular and thus singular verbs must always be used with uncountable nouns. Let us look at a few sentences. 
I love eating rice. She gave me a bouquet of roses. The water in the bucket is dirty. In the first sentence, rice is an uncountable noun. In the second sentence, bouquet is a singular countable noun and roses is a plural countable noun. In the third sentence, water is an uncountable noun and bucket is a singular countable noun. Here are few more examples of countable and uncountable nouns. Countable There are many birds on that tree. I have many good friends in school. Uncountable We should not eat too much salt. I enjoy playing with sand. Countable nouns with a, an and some. It is raining. I need an umbrella. Are you going out? Yes, I am going to the library to bring some books. I will come with you. I want to buy some apples. There is a fruit shop near the library. Okay, you can come with me. Do carry a bag so that we can keep everything in it. Okay, I will get one. In the dialogues, Aman and Tanvi have used a, an and some for different countable nouns. Here are examples of sentences using a, an and some. I need an umbrella. I'm going to the library to bring some books. I want to buy some apples. There is a fruit shop near the library. Do carry a bag so that we can keep everything in it. Definition Countable nouns refer to the things that can be counted. These can be singular as well as plural. A and an is used before singular countable nouns. An is used before singular countable nouns beginning with vowels that is A, E, I, O, U. Some is used before plural countable nouns. Let us look at a few sentences. Richa is flying a kite. Would you like to have an omelette? I gave some toffees to the poor children. In the first sentence, a is used with singular countable noun kite. In the second sentence, an is used with singular countable noun omelette, which begins with vowel o. In the third sentence, some is used with plural countable noun toffees. Here are few more examples of use of a, an and some. Fatima baked a cake on my birthday. I saw an elephant in the zoo. Some children of my class are very naughty. A, an and the Can you lend me a pencil? Sorry, I don't have an extra pencil. I have extra pencils. I can give one to you. There were several pencils in my pencil box, but I forgot to bring the box. It is alright, you can borrow from me. But I have forgotten to bring my water bottle. Will you give me some water to drink? You can. Take water from me. I have brought a big bottle today. The water in her bottle has already been used up. In the dialogues, Ratna, Taruna and Kapil have used articles with countable and uncountable nouns. Here are examples of sentences showing usage of articles with countable and uncountable nouns and also showing usage of nouns without articles. Can you lend me a pencil? Sorry. I don't have an extra pencil. 
I have extra pencils. There were several pencils in my pencil box. But I forgot to bring the box. Will you give me some water to drink? You can take water from me. I have brought a big bottle today. The water in her bottle has already been used up. Definition A, an and the are articles in English. Countable nouns refer to things that can be counted. Uncountable nouns refer to quantity, materials, liquid, which cannot be counted separately. A and an imply a single thing and are placed before a single countable noun. An is placed before words which begin with vowels, that is A, E, I, O, U. These articles cannot be used before plural countable nouns or uncountable nouns. The can be used before both singular and plural countable nouns and also before uncountable nouns. Sometimes no articles are used before plural countable nouns as well as uncountable nouns. Let us look at a few sentences. I'm going to buy a gift for my friend. My mother gave me the school, the school, children, the children. I'm going to school. Where are you going? I'm going to the hospital to visit my aunt. She was admitted in hospital yesterday due to knee injury. We have parent-teacher meeting today. The principal has asked all the children to come with their parents. Yes, I know. My father will reach the school at 11 a.m. I will come directly from the hospital. My father says children must always obey their teachers. In the dialogues, Sumant and Asha have used the when speaking of particular things and when attending a particular place as a visitor. This can be compared to dialogues where the has not been used for same person or places because of general usage. Here are examples of sentences using the in such a manner and sentences without using the. I'm going to school. I'm going to the hospital to visit my aunt. She was admitted in hospital yesterday due to knee injury. The principal has asked all the children to come with their parents. My father will reach the school at 11 a.m. from his office. I will come directly from the hospital. My father says children must always obey their teachers. Definition When we are thinking of something as a general idea, we do not use the. And also, when a child goes to school as a pupil, we do not use the. Same is the case with prison, hospital, university and church. When we are thinking about the general idea of these places and what they are used for generally, we do not use the. Article the is used when we speak about particular places, things or people. We say a child goes to school or is at school as a pupil. We are not necessarily thinking for a particular school. We are thinking of school as a general idea. Alison's mother is not a pupil. She is not at school. She doesn't go to school. But if she wants to see Alison's teacher, she goes to the school. Alison school, a particular school. We use prison, hospital, university and church in The giraffe, the telephone, the piano, etc. The plus adjective. I went for an African safari last week. I saw many animals there. But the giraffe and the zebra 
really fascinated me. Wow, it seems you had an interesting trip. Yes, in the evening there was a campfire. Somebody played the guitar. The young and the old both enjoyed themselves. What did you like the most about Africa? The Africans are wonderful people. Besides, we decided to spend two days without gadgets and realized how peaceful life can be without the mobile. You must have come back rejuvenated. Yes, also I am trying to keep away from the telephone and spending some time creatively, trying to learn the piano. In the dialogues, Hema and Kamini have used the with giraffe, zebra, guitar, piano, mobile, telephone, Africans and also with some adjectives like young and old even though here the is not used for a particular person or object. Here are examples of sentences using the. I saw many animals there but the giraffe and the zebra really fascinated me. Somebody played the guitar. The young and the old both enjoyed themselves. The Africans are wonderful people. Besides, we decided to spend two days without gadgets and realized how peaceful life can be without the mobile. Also, I am trying to keep away from the telephone and spending some time creatively trying to learn the piano. Definition Here, the is not used to indicate one particular thing. The used before giraffe or zebra does not mean one particular giraffe or zebra, but rather one type of animal. Article the is used with a singular countable noun to talk about a type of animal, gadget, musical instrument, machine, etc. Like the mobile, the telephone, the guitar and the piano. Article the plus adjective, not followed by a noun, is used to talk about groups of people. Like the young means the young people and the old means the old people. Article the is used with nationality adjectives to indicate the people of a particular country. For example, names with and without the. Students, can you tell me the name of your best friend and your country? Yes, ma'am. My best friend is the Karthik and the name of my country is the India. We do not use the with names of people and places. You should not use the with Karthik and India. But ma'am, we use the with the United States of America. You are right. We use the in names with republic, kingdom, states, etc. Now, can anyone tell me the names of few rivers and oceans of the world? Ma'am, the Nile and the Thames. Correct. We use the with names of rivers, lakes, canals, oceans, seas and mountain ranges. But we do not use the with names of mountains. Definition The is a definite article used with particular things. The is generally not used with proper noun or names of persons and places. However, there are some exceptions. Rules for names with and without the We do not use the with names of people. For example, Ruchika Kirti Sharma We do not use the with names of places. For example, Continents Europe, North America Countries China, Sweden States Uttar Pradesh, Kerala Cities Mumbai, New York Mountains Everest, Kanchenjunga but we use the in names with kingdom, republic, states, for example, the United Kingdom or the UK. 
the Irish Republic, the United States of America or the USA. We use the with the names of oceans, seas, rivers, canals and mountain ranges. The Pacific Ocean, the Mediterranean Sea, the English Channel between France and Britain, the Panama Canal, the Ganges River, the Himalayas Mountain Range. Singular and Plural There is a man at the door. He has a parcel to deliver. Yes, I had ordered books on personality development. The courier boy must have brought the books. So, should I take the parcel? Yes, please do. Father, please give me a pen to sign the form. The boy does not have a pen. Take the black pen on the table and keep the book safely. I am going out for an interview. In the dialogues, Karan and father have used a, an and the with singular and plural nouns. Here are examples of sentences using articles with singular and plural nouns. There is a man at the door. He has a parcel to deliver. The courier boy must have brought the books. So, should I take the parcel? Father, please give me a pen to sign the form. The boy does not have a pen. Take the black pen on the table and keep the book safely. I'm going out for an interview. Definition Singular means a noun that is one in number and plural means more than one in number. The word the should be used with a noun indicating a particular item or group of items. It can be used with plural as well as singular nouns. A is used with nouns that are not specific. Also, A is used to refer to a single item or category and cannot be used with plural nouns. An is also used for single, non-specific nouns. However, an is used when the word which follows this article begins with any one of the vowels A, E, I, O, U. Let us look at a few sentences. Can you lend me a bag for one day? Rina ate an ice cream after dinner. Atul goes to the park near his house every evening. Kanan bought all the dresses that were on sale. In the first sentence, A is used with bag to indicate a single bag, singular. It is also not a specific bag. In the second sentence, an is used with ice cream to indicate a single, singular, non-specific ice cream. An here has...